jumpers are coming off. It's warm, but it's so weird because I've been cold for like weeks. And it's sunrise. Anyway. Halfway there? Almost there, kind of. You can see the top anyway. Come on, Tana. She's basically the same size as the bunny is out here. I think she's smaller. <laughs> to bed after and it was really windy so the fire was still going a tiny bit we didn't have this fire protector thing around the fire we just had it in this big pit and all of a sudden I saw this really bright light coming from outside the tent so I came out and our chair had fallen in the fire there was no saving it so we literally just watched it burn <laughs> so now I have to sit on a log it burned pretty quick, didn't it? It burned so quick, like it just fell in and just fully shriveled up. And that was the chair gone. <laughs> it's a shame because we like these chairs. Yeah, I really like these chairs. But anyway, we'll just have to take turns. Last night, we decided that we were gonna get up and do this hike, and before I was going to bed last night, I set two alarms. I'm the type of person who just hits snooze and just never gets up. <laughs> so in my head, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up on my very first alarm and not sleep in. And because I had that in my head, I just did it. And it really is a mind over matter thing, which I feel like is a lot of things. When you're traveling, you just have to do things. Yeah, if you there, think there. too much, it's so hard. <laughs> Even if it's the most basic, simple thing. Yeah, you said it perfectly. So many things that we do, like you have to push through that moment of like, I don't want to do this right now. Like, mm. it was cold this morning. Yeah. The bed was so comfortable. Especially in the tent. And you have a negotiation with your mind, and you're like, oh, I could just stay here, not go out. But once we're at the top of that mountain, and that cold air was in our face. Not thinking about bed anymore. Nah, exactly. You just gotta push through. Probably from the fire. Oh, okay. Want some coffee? 
<laughs> this little bug wants some coffee as well. What are we on my third cup? <laughs> I think we better have some water. We're going to be flying today. So, we got ourselves a brand new lithium setup, babe. I take water out of Western Australia, which is pretty exciting, but we've always run AGM batteries to charge everything in the, um, in the van, but they've failed us quite a bit. And I think because um, the lithium one is so much lighter and you can um, draw like 100% of capacity out of a lithium battery instead of like that one's 50%. It just made sense. Is that how you can power all your gadgets now? Are you toys? So these are our two old batteries. They were both AGM batteries and then this is our new lithium battery. This one is so much lighter. How many kilos did he say it was? 11 and a half. 11 and a half and the old batteries were 20? 30. 30 each. So we're going from 60 kilos and now we only have 11 kilos. That's a crazy difference. George just trying to get them in at the moment but pretty excited for this. Our power has been a really big issue for us since the beginning of van life basically. You can always take my time Throw it up against the wind I'll thread it through your everything We've been set up at this campground just outside of Port Augusta for the last few days. It's called Spear Creek and it's actually just such a beautiful spot because there's all these hills around. It's right at the base of the Flinders Ranges but it's been perfect because we're just waiting at the moment for a few parcels to arrive in Port Augusta before we can continue going on our journey. We also just had so much to catch up on so we were like let's just pause for a few days and catch up on work and get some rest and it's honestly just felt amazing. It's literally exactly what I needed. In the mornings and afternoons we've been exploring the hills and the area around here. For the first time in a while my mind finally feels clear. I really needed this before this upcoming trip because we're going to be heading through the Red Center and I have all sorts of mixed emotions about that trip. I'm so excited. Uluru has been on my list for so so long but I'm nervous because I don't know, I just don't know what it's gonna be like. Just the uncertainty of what's out there and we're doing it in a combi and we have our small dog who is pretty delicate. So we just need to be careful. We were meant to get the combi in first service in Adelaide, but we booked it too late and nobody had availability. So we couldn't get her serviced and tuned. So there's a few little issues with the van that we're just hoping don't play up on the journey. And we just have to be really careful with Zena because she can be pretty sensitive when it comes to the hot weather. So we just need to take it slow. But yeah, I finally feel like I'm slowly getting caught up. The last month has been nothing but amazing, but it has also been really hectic and I don't feel like I have had any time just to breathe. My mind was just starting to feel like a big blur from moving so quickly. It's not until I sit down and edit my video that I even remember what we did. <laughs> so yes, it's been so much fun and I'm going to remember these times for a very long time, but yeah, it has been a lot to be honest. We've been spending the days in the tent just catching up on as much as we can and editing a lot. So I kind of feel ready to move on, but I'm still about five videos behind in my YouTube. I'm so happy I did start creating these videos though because I do really, really enjoy it. But just with all the traveling and busyness, it's hard to keep up with the editing and the shooting. And we're still trying to make money by doing content creation and things for brands. So yeah, it's just hard to find balance really.
having some vino by the fire for our last night here. Cheers! Oh, I almost spilled yours. <laughs> Zena, hop up. Zena wants to be part of it. Hop up. Come on. Are you going to use me as your ladder? Hop. Go. <laughs> you just used me, Zena. You just used me to get to him. So Zena is obsessed with Jordan. I think she likes me, but he's definitely the favorite. Aren't you? I am actually. No matter how much love I gave her. <laughs> Sleepy heads. It's time to get up. Mm -hmm. Look at these couple of schnoozes. Sleepy heads. Six thirty. Coffee, break in, then we're off again. Yep. It's another two and a half hours. So we finally made it to the red dirt. This is the first spot that we've had red dirt, really, hey? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty dramatic change. Yesterday we stopped in Port Augusta after staying in the mountains for a couple nights. And we just fully stocked up on everything. It felt kind of like we we're leaving for like a year to go somewhere. It was just a strange feeling, wasn't it? I know, yeah, we, I mean, we'd never done $300 shoppers. It was the last big shopping center before we get to Darwin, basically. Through the center, it's all just smaller shops, which I think would get quite expensive, so we just decided to stock up on as much as we could. We also got some jerry cans, just to carry some extra fuel so we don't break down in the middle of nowhere. And, we were inspired by Curie, who we were with over the last couple of weeks, and we got some pots and pans that we can use on the fire. Oh yeah, you got an axe too. It's a hatchet. <laughs> a hatchet. So that I can work on my wood chopping. And a cute little pot. I like it. I love it. Pretty heavy. It's, it makes you want to cook curry, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm definitely cooking us some curry. And then what are we going to cook on this one? Well, we can do like rice and Beans. Rice, beans, stir fry, chicken. Yeah. Fun. Excited for the red dirt, and we're gonna get to Cooper Pee today, so it's the beginning of our outback adventures, really. Yeah. Mm. No, the next few places are just gonna be amazing spots. So it's really be. fun, yeah. 